Hey guys, this is Zane. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, I got three tips to help you improve your Ollie. Come on, let's go skate. I want to appreciate each and every one of you for the feedback you've been giving me on my videos. And I've learned that a lot of people out there are not only having you know, trouble learning how to ollie, but having to improve their ollies. And I found it's really these three basic techniques that take your ollie from the beginner popping, sliding your foot, to starting to jump and actually maintain a, a level ollie, and then eventually even you know bone your ollie to have the highest ollie possible. So yeah, let's get right into it. The number one thing that I notice with young skaters or new skaters is their back foot placement. And not just where they put it, but how it affects their pop. Because if you have a, your entire foot on your board when you pop, it's going to mute your pop. And what I mean by that is if you look here, you see how my board just doesn't really pop off the ground compared to when you use my toe? When you have your toe and maybe the ball of your foot on your board, your board is much more reactive to popping versus having a heavier foot. This one, as you can see, is slid up. I'm trying my best to ollie, but it can't really get that high. But when I put my toe and the ball of my foot on the tail, notice when I make the popping motion, it's going to be a lot lighter and a lot quicker. So this is one of the first things that I notice and always tell young skaters, is stop muting your pop. Use your toes. <laughs> it's all on the toes, baby. The next thing I always notice in skateboarders is they have a tendency to not be able to maintain the balance when they crouch. This is really important because your leg muscles are your largest muscle group in your body and that's where you're going to generate all your ability to not only pop but to get air. You can try to ollie standing up straight but it's never really going to get you that far off the ground. As you can see when I try to ollie up straight I can maybe get a curb height but if you start to crouch focus on the center of your body and bringing sort of your knees up to your chest You'll be able to start to get your ollie a little bit higher, making that jump time shorter and making things easier. And while at first you might have a difficulty maintaining your balance, the more you practice it, the better you'll get. See, even I fell off there. I like to bend down pretty low, probably a lot lower than most people, but I find it helps me get the jump that I need to ollie as high as I can. Last but not least, alling higher is all about how high you can bring your knees. It might sound like common sense, but the higher you can jump, the higher you can ollie. Now not everyone's going to be born with the ability to jump super high, but when you start to skate, if you're conscious between where your knees are in terms of your body, you can center your gravity in a way that tries to bring your knees to your chest. Shorten that length and it might be a little easier for you to get a higher ollie. As you can see, my ollies are getting progressively higher and in ratio to how high I bring my knees. It can be difficult and feel kind of strange at first, but I promise, if you keep practicing, your ollies will only get higher and higher. Before I let you go, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been commenting and watching my YouTube videos. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Maybe a how-to kickflip tutorial? Or maybe how to front side blunt slide? I don't know. But either way, I should say thank you for the support and hope you're having fun. And remember this week to grab a buddy and go skate.